The Belgian Grand Prix is one of the most historic and well-loved circuits on the Formula 1 calendar. The track in Spa Franco Champ has produced some of the all-time great races and it has perhaps the most iconic corner in all of F1, Eau Rouge. But increasingly, the design of the circuit has come under fire and it's for good reason. Antoine Hubert Spa, or to give it its full title, Circuit de Spa Franco Champ, appeared in the first ever F1 season in 1950, and after a period of intermittent appearances, it's been a mainstay since 1985. During that time, it's become incredibly well loved by both drivers and fans alike. The circuit is billed as the ultimate challenge for drivers, with the Eau Rouge corner being a flat out charge up a 134 feet hill but it's also been the location for some of the sport's darkest moments. In 2019, 22-year-old Antoine Hubert was driving for BWT Arden in the Formula 2 Championship when the series arrived for a race at the Spa circuit. Hubert, a Frenchman and a friend of Pierre Gasly, was seen as a great talent and a driver who would no doubt go on to race in Formula 1, but that was all taken away from him from an incident at the circuit that would claim his life. During the F2 feature race in late August, a serious incident between Hubert and Juan Manuel Correa occurred shortly after Radion on the Kemmel Strait. In only the second lap of the race, Trident driver Giuliano Lacy lost control of his car as he climbed the Radion curve as a result of an earlier puncture, which caused him to spin and hit the left wall of the track. The impact tore off his rear wing and spread debris across the track. The man directly behind the incident was Ralph Boschon, Alessi's teammate, and with the full view ahead of him, was able to swerve and avoid most of the debris. One man who was not so lucky was Hubert. The Frenchman was close behind Boschon, so was completely unaware of what had taken place ahead of him. As Boschon slowed down, Hubert went to overtake him on the right and inadvertently drove into the rear wing of Boschon. Hubert was powerless as he crashed into the tyre barrier and then back onto the track and was sent on a collision course with Charu driver Juan Manuel Correa. Correa struck Hubert on the left side in the driver seat area in what was a horrific incident. Hubert and Correa were both transported to the circuit's medical centre and while Correa went on to live, Hubert died from his injuries and was pronounced dead approximately 90 minutes later after the accident took place. The Impact of Hubert Formula 1 was in shock after the crash. In the day and age where safety is paramount, there had always been public debate about whether the Eau Rouge Radion combination was deemed unsafe and criticism centered around the nature of the tyre barrier and runoff area of Radion, which tended to bounce out of control cars back onto the track rather than collect them just as we saw with the Lacey. In response, the FIA launched a full investigation into the accident and recommended improvements in areas such as debris containment, improving the car-to-car -car compatibility during a crash, headrest redesign, a quicker accident notification system and tyre pressure monitoring system deployment. Spa also made changes, building gravel traps that would be placed at La Source, Radion, Blanchimont, Le Com and Stabolo. The runoff areas of some corners including Radion would be expanded and these upgrades were completed in March 2022. But just over a year later, we were again reminded of how dangerous motorsport can be. Delano Vanthoff On the day of qualifying for the F1 Austrian Grand Prix, news came out about yet another incident at the Belgian circuit. This time it was in a Formula Regional European Championship race and involved a young Dutchman. Like Hubert before him, Delano Vanthoff had a lot of potential, but at the age of just 18, he lost his life. In heavy rain, Vanthoff died at the exit of Radion, just before the Kemmel Strait, which also involved Joshua Dufek, Adam Fitzgerald, Enzo Shanti and Tim Tramnitz. Vanthoff lost control entering the strait, and his car was then struck on the side by Fitzgerald's vehicle, killing the young Dutch driver. Events across the world, including the 24 hours of Spa race and the Austrian Grand Prix held silence in his memory, but it was another traffic death of an all too young driver. Lance's Stroll reaction leads to the charge. Even if it is another series, once a tragedy occurs, every driver is united. 
In the wake of Van Toff's death, yet more focus was put on that particular section of the spa circuit, and it was the voice of Aston Martin's Lance Stroll who led the charge. Stroll said, It's not fair what happened, and that corner needs to be looked at and changed, because we lost two young talents in like five years, it needs to be changed. We're going there in a few weeks, it's horrible what happened today, we lost a member of the racing family. Seriously, we need to think about what to do with that corner, as it's never fun going through there. Every time we go through there, we put our lives on the line. Today, we saw something bad happen. It's not right. He was not the only driver to comment on it, with Max Verstappen describing it as sad and unnecessary before suggesting another track that was even more dangerous. Verstappen said, It's for sure quite a dangerous corner, but we're also going to Jeddah in Sector 1. And that for me is probably even more dangerous, because well, I'm happy that nothing has happened yet in that sector, because going through turn 6, 7, 8, if you have a shunt there that can be the same, it's all blind, you don't know what's coming. Of course, with that scenario, when there is almost no visibility, a lot of water, and that is of course a big issue. I think in the dry, normally it's a bit better. You see, of course, more of what's going on in front of you. I think already the changes they made in Spa, they definitely opened it up a lot more, but it will always be a dangerous corner. But we're going to a lot of tracks where there are dangerous corners, where up until probably there's an accident, you won't say anything. And now of course it gets brought up, but I feel it's a bit unfair to just blame it on the track, because I think in the first place you have to look into why did they restart. It's a big championship, a lot of cars. They're up and coming talents, they probably risk a bit more, because they want to show every race that they're the best driver out there and with that visibility, it was just impossible to see anything. There are a lot of things that have to come together, what we have to improve. What's been done? In the wake of Van Hoff's death and the world's media focus on the safety of Spa, you'd expect some kind of reaction from the FIA, but as of yet, there's been none. In contrast to Hubert's death, the FIA has not launched an investigation despite the pleas of Pierre Gasly. The Alpine driver said, I think we're all shocked and extremely saddened by what happened. It reminds us obviously of the sad moments with what happened to Antoine Hubert a few years ago. It just feels wrong. We should never be in the position of losing young talent. So this clearly deserves an investigation to understand exactly what happened and to make sure that these scenarios never happen again because we've already lost enough talent in such a sad way. But Gasly has so far been kept waiting with all 20 drivers once again risking their lives this weekend on a circuit that's already claimed way too many. Thank you for watching today's video and as always, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a release here on the DRS Straight.